Hey, what's up guys? Just want to do a quick video comparison between the GORUCK GR121 liter USA made and the GORUCK GR121 liter Vietnam made. Um, I had for a while contemplated whether or not uh, to get the USA made uh, one over the Vietnam one. But I just basically became too impatient and really in hindsight, uh, basically I, I only saved 35 bucks getting the Vietnam version over the USA made one. And I always told myself, you know, eventually I'll get the USA made one. Um, well, that day finally came. Um, GORUCK doesn't officially sell any American made GR ones through their website as of right now. Uh, they recently announced that they will bring them back um, later. Uh, next year in 2021 but as of right now you can only find um, the Vietnam made ones um, at a pretty steep discount mind you um, so yeah um, now that I have both of them I just want to compare them and see just in case anyone else out there is on the fence about getting one and what are the real differences between the two um, so I've had the Vietnam made one for about close to three months got in July um, and uh, now it's nearing the end of November. I've rucked uh, dozens of miles with it, used it as my EDC everyday bag. And so yeah, just generally have had, uh, you know, some good time with it. And um, I got this here, the uh, USA Made GR1, about two weeks ago now. I've rucked a few miles with it. Um, and yeah, I feel like I can more or less, um, you know, develop my opinions on this bag now. I've also just sold this one as well. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, basically, uh, first comparison. You guys might be able to tell, I'm really sorry, this camera quality I know is pretty bad, um, but the color is a little bit different um, and the way that it's coming in. I mean, this, this is black, right? And that's black. But if you can kind of tell, there are some differences. I don't really, I, I can't quite put my, my finger on it, but there is a difference in shading. Not sure if that's going to necessarily bug anyone. Um, but yeah, this is the more traditional um, color, than, um, uh, black color, <clears throat> which mirrors a lot of uh, my 10 um, liter bullet, uh, Gorok bullet that I have from them. Um, it's a lot more in line with this, whereas this is like uh, kind of like dark, dark bluish, almost dark, dark purplish um, black. Now, I remember in the beginning there was a lot of, um, uh, you know, not relatively a lot for, I guess, a product like this, of, of people receiving like tinted uh, black uh, GR1s. Um, so I don't think this one necessarily has that tinting problem. It's just a different shade of black, basically, at the end of the day. Um, so that is one difference. Um, another difference that I noticed was the bottom padding is actually thicker um, on the um, Vietnam Made GR1. I'm going to set this down real quick because I want to open it and it's going to take two hands for that. Oops, sorry there. So, I'm going to open this pack right now. And basically, yeah, the bottom kind of bit here is a lot thicker. Um, just going to zoom in there. Um, you can't really tell from here. But, let me see if I can kind of tell from the side. Yeah, you really can't. Sorry about that. But, take my word for it, it is thicker. Um, it's, act it's, it's also more rigid, I'll say. So, I don't know if they're using different types of foam, but it's a lot more rigid. And one way that I can uh, show that is when I flap it over like that it stays flat, for instance. It doesn't like crumple on itself. So it's a lot more rigid. Whereas the GR1 here, the USA made one, 
it kind of tends to fold in on itself like that. Um, and I, I know you might be thinking, oh, well, he has stuff in it. Of course, there's more weight. Um, I guarantee you that that um, never happened. And I, I have the same exact loadout in here that I do, um, or did rather, in the Vietnam Maid one. It's just more rigid. So, yeah, they, they might have made an improvement there um, in that aspect. Um, and while we have the main compartments open, I'm going to try and compare the mesh. The mesh here on the inside pocket is also a lot more just kind of more easily malleable. Now, is that necessarily bad? I don't know. Um, kind of depends what you put in here. I do feel like if you put something a little harder, <clears throat> um, or rather I should say sharper, it might, it, I feel like it might be a little bit more susceptible to that. It hasn't happened to me. I don't put any sharp items in here. But yeah, it's just a little bit more malleable. While this one is a lot less so, like it's hard for me to kind of grip it. Um, if you can tell here, it's just a lot harder. Sorry for that. I won't get outside. So yeah, it's just a lot less malleable. While this is just kind of conforms. And it was like this day one, mind you. Just want to make that clear. I know I've been using this for a few months, but yeah, it's always been like that. Um, another thing I wanted to point out is actually the main zippers. Um, now, you might be thinking, well, my Vietnam made GR1 didn't come with these, and you'd be right. Uh, that's because these are just uh, custom made um, Max Expedition pulls. These are a lot harder to zip up. In fact, I can't do it one handed, and I've actually lubed these um, as well to try and help it out, and it just didn't. Day one, like they never, they never broke in. Whereas these zips, they're a lot easier to maneuver. I can do this whole bag one-handed if I wanted to. I don't know what it is. They're just smoother here. That's without any breaking in. And this one, even with this Max Expedition pull, I'll even get it around the corner. And it's got way better um, kind of traction here with this type of pull. And I just, I can't, I can't do it. So I don't know if all of the bags are that, are that way. Uh, but mine was. Since day one, thought they would break in, they didn't. Tried to lube them up, didn't work. Um, the same kind of, not so much for the smaller one. These are like number eight, I believe, YKK zips, whereas these over here are number tens. So, I don't know. Um, that's another difference. Also, another difference, the handles. Not a huge difference, not like major or anything. But I will say the handle on the Vietnam made one is a lot more rigid and it took me a while to get it juxt jutted, uh, jutting out here like this. Like it literally took me uh, to like kind of do, um, I'm not really sure what kind of exercise to call it, but basically I would fill it up with weight, uh, put both of my hands up here and just pull it from, you know, the ground up to my chest above my head. And it took me doing that um, for a few reps. Um, for over a few days for it to finally like jut out like this it used to be recessed like the whole time which kind of made it a pain to grab like you would kind of like have to find it because you know and then you would have to like yank it upwards so it finally did that whereas the usa made one actually was rather malleable from the start and it was a lot easier to just kind of grab like from the get-go uh, i don't know if that means that one is more resilient than the other one might think, okay, if this one is more rigid, this one is probably more resilient than the USA made one. I don't know. That could be. Um, but yeah, that's another one. Next one I'm going to go over is the straps. So, the while the design is the same, more or less, um... It's strange. I really can't decide which is better. And I'll tell you why. Um, the Vietnam made one, there is thicker padding. There's no way around it. I don't know if it is literally thicker, 
for if it's just more dense, but it's a lot harder for me to squeeze down. And remember, I've, I've rucked with 20, 30, 40 pounds of weight in one, in one instance, and um, so it's not like this thing hasn't seen abuse, and it is denser than ever. Now, it did eventually mold to my body, so it's not like that was an issue, but it was just a lot thicker. This, the USA made one, not as thick, and it is a lot more, it's a lot easier to kind of smoosh down. Don't know if that's coming up on camera that well, but it is a lot easier to smoosh down. Now, does that mean less density? Maybe. I mean, I'm not, I don't, I don't know exactly for sure. Um, and what this basically translates to is there's less of a break-in period with the USA made one. Like, a lot of people complained about it in the past, but at comparative to the Vietnam made one, no. Comparatively, it is a lot easier to break in for the USA made one. It's also, um, I'll get into this other feature next, but yeah, it's just, it's a lot more comfortable to wear when you don't have that much weight in it. When you do have a lot of weight in it, it's obviously more comfortable than any bag out there on the market right now because, you know, Go Ruck, Doug, this is meant to hold, you know, dozens of pounds. Um, but comparative to the Vietnam made one, it's very strange. This one can definitely hold a lot more weight. That's for sure. But as a trade-off, that kind of makes it a lot kind of rougher on your shoulders. And it's like Chase reviews, um, Chase Reeve said in one of his reviews, it's like, it hurts good. Like, that, that's the best way to really describe it. It, um, it is a very dense and thick padding. I feel like it's almost too thick to the point where it has a tough time kind of molding to your shoulder. Um, and thus, I think that's why it took so long to break these in. Whereas, like, this one's a lot, it, it's easier now. I don't know necessarily the long-term effects, like maybe this foam will last longer, you know, than maybe the USA made one. Um, you know, maybe this will keep its form a lot longer. Like this, like I said, this foam, because it's denser, it's very rigid, it's very hard. And thus it makes it actually a little more difficult to put on as a result because of its rigidness. Whereas the, the USA made one is a lot more just playful. Like it's a lot easier to handle. So again, maybe for like everyday use, this will be more convenient because you can just kind of maneuver it easier. But for long-term rucking, maybe this one would be better. Um, so yeah, on to the other feature that is a little minor, but I feel like it is worth mentioning because I noticed it almost right away. Um, now, I don't know if you can tell so much, but the, the top of this strap here, Okay, it doesn't really move side to side too well. Um, like you'll see it'll bend in on itself there. Whereas the USA made one is a lot easier to move side to side. Now you might be thinking, why the hell does that matter? Uh, it matters because it makes it easier to put on. Um, it's just easier to maneuver. And you can kind of tell. There's like this kind of sharp angle at the edge here that makes it um, a lot easier for it to maneuver side to side, um, which not only makes it easier to put on, but also in the event that you want to access your laptop compartment, it's just a lot quicker to, to get to that because it, it, yeah, it just moves like side to side a lot better and maneuvers with you a lot more. Um, it feels like maybe there's a little more slack over here. I don't know, they kind of like pinched the material over on itself more but that's something that I noticed almost right away whereas this one is a lot more rigid it's, it's just harder to maneuver um, not as easy um, this one's been kind of broken in but um, you know obviously it's still doable I'm not saying like oh you know my bag doesn't work and again very small gripe but it is a little different like you can tell right here, it's not recessed in as much. And as a result, it doesn't have as much, um, you know, maneuverability side to side. So it does kind of make getting into this uh, either plate or laptop compartment a little bit just more tedious. Like that, that was kind of a, 
you know, that, that wasn't as easy as, as this. It's, it, it's not. I know, it probably doesn't show that well on camera, but I promise it's, it was just, it's a lot less valuable. And I mean, it, make, it makes sense because if this foam is a lot denser, it's a lot harder to move. Obviously, it's not going to move with you well. Uh, but also just that changing in like the, the stitch right here maybe is what also made the difference. Um, so those are some of the main differences. The other main difference is just the quality of the Cordura. Um, I'll say this one's almost rougher in a weird way. It also, I feel like, retains moisture more. Um, I feel like it doesn't wick it off as well. Um, it's just retaining moisture a lot more. Whereas this USA Made Cordura, it's just a little different. I don't, I can't really explain it, but it feels different. It wicks water off a lot better than the uh, Vietnam Made. And the other last point I want to make is the stitching, okay? Well, I had this bag for maybe uh, a week. I, I might have rucked a few miles in it. And I, you can't really tell right now. Well, actually, no, you can. One is already coming out. But the stitching, I had already seen like loose yarn. Now, that was surprising because I had had a 10 liter Go Ruck Bullet USA made. And it literally took a year for a single stitch to be exposed. And I had this thing for a week. I hadn't even used these front molly pockets. And, they, and this, all of these were coming undone like simultaneously. I've since burned a few of them off, um, but you can still see. See, one there, um, one right here. Uh, yeah, another one right here. Yeah, see, so the stitching is just not done well. I, I don't know if it's my machine or hand, I, I don't know anything about that, but I just know enough to know that this had exposed uh, stitching, uh, you know, a lot sooner. This one, I uh, haven't used it nearly as much. Um, I'm hoping that stitching isn't going to come on, but really I'm comparing it to uh, my other USA Made Go Rug product, which this has already been two weeks of no exposed stitching yet. Um, so, you know, take that uh, as you will. But yeah, this has been a comparison video of both the USA Made and Vietnam made GR1s. Hopefully that helps you in deciding which one to get. Right now these are on sale for $1.99, um, the Vietnam made one. And Jason has mentioned that the USA made GR1s, uh, when they start uh, releasing them back on their website, the price of them will go up to $3.25. So if you're on the fence, um, and any of the factors that I've mentioned this time are that big a deal, you know, maybe you're better off waiting for a USA made one, which by the way, I bought this one on roguefitness.com. They, they still have a few for $2.99. So if you're set on buying a USA made GR1, get it at Rogue Fitness right now. It's going to be $2.99 uh, $2 rather than, you know, waiting for Go Ruck, and that'll probably not happen until later next year. And, you know, you're going to have to spend $3.25. Or you can kind of chance it in a way eh, with the, the Vietnam made one for 200. I don't think it's that big a deal. Like, is this bag a hundred dollars better than this one? Uh, probably not, to be honest with you. Uh, I don't think so. I think this is a good bag in its own right, but like the reasons, all the reasons I listed, um, they were the reason why I ended up deciding to sell my old one and keep the USA made one. Don't plan on going back. Don't plan on doing anything else with it. I do plan on installing uh, side molly handle, or not molly, but just side handles. Um, and then also upgrading the frame sheet to a Kydex frame sheet um, with this one. So um, yeah, um, hopefully that helped in your buying decision. And yeah, have a good one.